Hello everybody. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the insect glaive for Monster Hunter World. And yes, yes I know, my armor is a complete mess and I look like a box of crayons. But that's okay, because there's a reason. So the insect glaive is not by far the most complex weapon, but it is a complex weapon. I would say that the most complex weapon, in my experience, is probably the charge blade and the hunting horn. Um, I'm okay with the charge blade. I suck at the hunting horn. Um, but this weapon, I'm actually pretty good with. Uh, however, we're going to explain how this works today. So, if you don't know, um, and I'm pretty sure that most of you do, the insect glaive is actually two items. And as I pan around my character here, you'll, you'll see that I'll have the glaive on my back. And there's this nice, fluffy, cute little moth that looks slightly angry with a stinger on my arm. Now, that is called a kinsect. So, <clears throat> the kinsect is controlled by the insect glaive. So, if we draw our insect glaive still on our arm, right? Well, watch this. Pretty cool, right? You send it out, it hits something, it brings something back, and it sits on your arm until you're ready for it to do something else. Okay, so to explain the insect glaive, um, it can be a ground weapon. It can also be an aerial weapon. It can also provide you with buffs. And you're thinking, oh gosh, how do I accomplish all that? Well, it's actually not too difficult. So, the way that the insect glaive works is you use it to hit your enemy. You use it to send your kinsect, my fluffy little angry moth here, out to either... Uh, let me see if I can do it. There we go. Oh, he has to be flying, that's right. Uh, so we'll send him over there. And he'll come over here. Or he usually does. There we go, and he'll start attacking whatever you put this on. Now, you notice that if we walk up to this, there's these little fireflies here. So, guess what? That does something too. You walk up, you hit it, and it fucking explodes. Pretty cool, right? Now that depends on what element your kinsect is. Okay, so now we go to our box and I explain a little more about this because we're going to dive into this and make it as, uh, you know, make it as detailed as possible. Because it is a kind of complex weapon, I feel that it deserves a good explanation. So you have the glaive itself. And as you see, I've got a few to choose from here. You know, I've got the Fate's Wing, you know, I've got the... Xeno Shamana, Infinite Wisdom, Boss of Majesty, which is actually freaking cool looking. Uh, Ruinous Catastrophe, which is by far my favorite looking, one of my favorite looking ones. And Despot's Twin Bolt, which is okay. Uh, there are more. These are just the strongest ones that I own. Uh, but you have a few selections. Uh, it has a, so many trees it can go into, it's not even funny. And then you have trees for your kin sex and oh we'll get into all that all right so the one i'm using here has an attack of 899 it has an element of 180 and that element happens to be dragon it has a high elder seal uh it only has one um, decoration slot but that's okay um And as you can see, there are other elements, like we've got fire, we've got, you know, a hidden dragon element with two decoration slots. We have a uh, Xeno Shimano with two four-level slots, 240 dragon, 868 attack, which is actually pretty freaking good. Um, and it's not bad looking either. It's pretty a uh, pretty cool looking uh, thing. Um... And they all have their own elements, just like any other weapon does. So if we, you know, if we scroll through and we find some more, you'll see that they have 
They all have elements too. That's actually one of my personal favorites right there with uh, the Aura Samudra. Uh, Fenrir Rose is pretty cool looking. That is a freaking... The, this thing hits like a truck. Uh, because of the amount of damage it puts out elementally. Alright, so we still got a little moth on there. Alright, so now to explain the bug. So the bug, or the Kinsek is a separate item that you can equip. So I have this guy equipped. This is Pseudocath 3. Uh, there's Archmaiden 3. There's Whisper Vesp 3. And then there's Grand Cathar 3. Now, th this guy looks freaking awesome. Uh, we'll change to him because he's ice. So now we've got a little blue, like, uh, firefly thing, which is pretty cool. I mean, hey, you know. Nothing against the fireflies. So I think they're neat. Um, so we'll change to him. Uh, okay. So to explain this. Now if we... Uh, I can't do it from the box. Um, okay. I will have to leave the training area to show you how to nurture a Kensect. Uh, so we're going to go... Uh, we'll go to HQ. We'll head up to the... Uh, We'll head up to the smithy, and I will build, because this is what I use all my testing stuff for, and to show you guys how it works, I will build a separate Kinsect to show you how to upgrade and how to change elements and what the You've new been stats with mean. The new because your Kinsect has different stats than you do. You. Yes, it has its own Temporary stats, guys. Partner? Hey, hey. Far out concept. It's like a pet. Uh, head up to the workshop. We'll go talk to Hey Sefa, dude. Awesome. We'll go talk to this no guy. No problem. No problem. Alright. So we need manage kinsects. We need uh, purchase kinsect. Now you have two base selections when you go to buy a kinsect. You have a cauldron, which is a cutting type thing. See, uh, attack type, sever, dust effect, poison, element, zero, power, speed, and heal level, one. <coughs> okay, so now you have the Maldron, which is a blunt attack type, a healing dust, no element, power, speed, heal level, one. So this, when you, you know how you saw the little firefly things before, when you do that with this beetle, it creates a green dust that when you go up and smack it, it heals you. Uh, so, we will build one of each. And now we will go to elements. So, we have our two new beetles here. We've got our mall drone and our cold drone. So, we're going to go and upgrade our mall drone first. Or we're going to change the... We're going to change the element of it. So we have some choices here. We've got fire, water, ice, um, thunder, dragon. So you've got the you know the five basic elements here. So say we want to make him. Uh, I mean he's a what is this? Mall drone. Okay, so he's a mauler. We want to make him. Uh, we want to make him fire for impact. Okay, so we've set the element for the mall drone. Now what we need to do is go to nurture. So we get our little we get our little baby beetle here. And we can upgrade it to any of these. And as you see as you go through the um, you know as you go through the I can't see those yet, but this is a, this is for testing purposes, so we'll make one of them. And then we'll look at it later. Uh, so as you can see, you can go through and you can choose different ones, but beware, it will change what the dust effect does. As you can see on the right there, as I change trees, it changes the dust effect. So if you want a blast effect, then you need to go with the Bonifile. Or Bonifile. If you want a paralysis, then you need Lady Pavisa. Or Lady Pavis. However you want to pronounce it. I want to pronounce it fancy, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, here is an element fire with another blast, and that's kind of like a ladybug thing. It's an Archmaiden, and that's the one that I've got. 
Uh, we have the Bull Shroud, which is a heal dust effect. Kind of looks like a monarch butterfly. And then we've got the Whisper Vest, which I also have one of these. And it's kind of like another, uh, another version of the butterfly. And we haven't had any of these, so we're going to build these special ones because I've never seen them before and I want to. So we upgraded the first couple of steps, which are the first, you know, hey, welcome to, you know, managing your bug. And then we're going to choose this specialty one here. Arganesse. Arganess. Uh, looks like it's a healing dust effect. It has a level 10 heal, which is great, and it has a level 10 element with a 6 speed and a 5 power. That's okay, so we upgrade it again. Okay, so we get a 15 fire, we get a 15 heal, an 8 power, and a 9 speed. Not too bad. It's still a heal dust effect. Let's upgrade it to its final form, the Argonus 3. Or Arginus. However you want to say. So we have a fire element 20, a heal element, or a heal of 20, a speed of 12, and a power of 10. That is a pretty freaking powerful bug. So we're going to take this bug. Actually, we're going to upgrade the other one first. So we can see what it actually does. So this is the cold realm. This is the cutting family, not the blunt family. And we didn't choose an element for this, so we're going to go back and we're going to make an element for it. Because we didn't do it, and I feel bad. Uh, so we did fire for the other one, so let's do... Um, let's do thunder for this one. Alright, so we've set our element. Let's go nurture it. Let's make it grow. Let's make it happy. We'll take it down to the lineage line here. And what does this give us? An Elskara. So let's look at what we've got. Um, it's a dust effect heal. A thunder element. So whenever it hits the monster and deals a little bit of damage, it's applying, you know, it's hitting with thunder. It has a 10 heal, a 6 speed, and a 5 power. Okay, kind of similar to the last one we had. Alright. Uh, so it's still a severing type. Still a heal dust, 15 thunder element, 15 heal, 9 speed, 8 power. And this is the Oscarad 3 with a 20 thunder attack, a 20 heal, a 12 speed, and an 11 power. Dust effect is steel heal, and the attack type is still 7. Alright, so we're going to take our new bugs that we've done. And that's how you do that, by the way at the smithy. We're going to go back to our little uh, training yard and then we're going <clears> to <throat> go through the attack pool and play with our little pals here. Now everybody likes to crap on this weapon because they go, oh it's too flashy or oh it's just for looks. Not true. It actually does pretty well. And you'll see that in a moment. Now People that say that kind of stuff, they say it because they don't know how to use the weapon. Uh, when I first started this game, I started with this weapon. And it didn't matter what kind of monster it was, I only used this type of weapon. Uh, now, I've branched out and, you know, I've become more familiarized with more of the weapons. And I use them depending on what I'm fighting. But when I first started, this was the only weapon I would use. So I got really good at it. <laughs> Now, this weapon has another ability, and it's not really an ability that the weapon has itself. Anybody can do this, providing you do what's required, you know, to do it. Um, but this weapon seems to be a little better at it. Okay. So you draw your, your bug stick. Now you have your regular attacks like your rising slash combo, and we'll demonstrate these now. So you just keep hitting Y and that's what it does, the rising slash combo. And then you have your B, which is the wide sweep, which is this here. Now it only does two attacks, so I don't recommend using that very often. And then it has a vault. 
So you notice that it says right trigger plus A. This is the cool part. Right trigger plus A. And you attack while you're in the air. Now there's three attacks you can do while you're in the air. Right trigger plus A plus B will launch you in a different direction. And as long as you hit something with the last attack of the uh, series, it will keep bouncing you into the air. So if we do this, and vault over. And I miss. So that's what B does. Now, the cool thing about B is that you can vault up and say he moves to the right. You can B over to the right. You know, or say he moves to the left, you can be over to the left. Now say he moves behind you, you can be behind you. Or if you need a little extra room, you can be forward. You can literally go any direction, diagonally, backwards, any of that. Now the other attack is a downward thrust that isn't A, it isn't B, it isn't Y, it isn't X. It's right trigger. So if we go up vault, there's your, you know, there's your right trigger. If we hit the dust, I, I can't hit it because it's here. Let me, uh, there. So if we hit it, it heals us. Let me go blow up this, uh, no, it's not in here. Damn. Okay. So if so, to get that one, we'd have to vault. So if we vault. Oh, come on, let's do it. If we vault, there we healed ourselves on the way down and hit the monster. So the cool thing about this is he there? Yep, yeah, there he is. All right. The cool thing about this is. You can heal yourself uh, if you have one with a different dust. You can paralyze your you can you know you can paralyze your enemy because they do actually attack your target. If you notice, even when I go to market, he goes over, pops it, puts down a little thing, and I can come up, hit it, gain the healing, and he's done whatever element he, you assigned to him. Okay, moving on to the next part of the somewhat, but not really, kind of a little bit-ish complex weapon. That's not all, folks. You can have your little bug buffy. So you pick a part of the monster. You know, you target it. You have to be pretty quick sometimes, depending on the monster. But then, you left trigger to aim, and then you hit Y. You will run out, and you'll see him glow a color. Now you left trigger plus B to bring him back. And if you notice, up in the top left of my screen, there's a 1, a 2, and a 3. There are three different buffs that you can get from a monster. Now one is power, two I believe is speed, and three I can't quite remember what it is. Um, I think it's... I don't remember what it is. Uh, anyhow, so... You want to try and get all three of those. Now, usually there will be... Oh, there's the orange one. Okay. So there's the orange one. Let's see if we can get a red. Oh, that's still orange. Okay, let's, let's see about a red here. There's the red. So now we've got all three. Now, this is where this really comes in useful. So we've got speed, we've got power, and we've got whatever that orange one is that I can't recall. So now what hap well, now watch what happens when I attack. Instead of hitting once, I hit like eight times. So we'll do it again. We'll be our way over. Look at that. That is pretty sexy. So we'll go long ways so we can get the most air time. You can also use this weapon on the ground, like so. But I would only use it on the ground when you at least have the red buff. Reason being, when you lose all your buffs, your attacks go back to normal and you swing really slowly. 
Now, if you're just running around and you need to heal yourself, you can go, hey, bug. Oh, I have to send them out first, that's right. Actually, I think you actually do have to hit something. So you find like a little critter, you go, eh. And you walk up and boom, healed. Call your bug back and be on your way. Now, it might seem like I am sheathing and unsheathing my weapon really quickly. Why? Let me show you. Not there. Let me show you. We're going to my skills. Quick sheath, level 3. Why? Because if you don't have it, this weapon takes forever. It's not as slow as a greatsword or a hammer, but it's enough to make it kind of a nuisance. So here's the stats that you're going to look for when you're using the bug stick. You want jump master. Negates being knocked back from attacks during a jump. You want, if you can get it, quick, th quick sheave three. If you can't, one or two is still better than none. So keep that in mind. You don't have to have it, but it makes it a lot easier. The three, that is, uh, the third one that is a must for the Bug Glaive user is Airborne. Jumping attack power increased by 30%. 3-0. That's quite a big chunk of damage. Now ones that I recommend are obviously earplugs. Um, I don't have any other ones on here, but I would like to have Trimmer Res, Windproof, that kind of thing. Uh, windpro windproof is probably a little higher up on a priority list for insect glaive, uh, but earplugs, windproof, and if you can get it airborne since you only need one, quick sheath in any amount if you can get it without having to sacrifice those other more important ones, and jump master, required. Because let me let me explain what happens when you don't have Jump Master and you're fighting, say, a Rajang or a Diablos or a you know a Stygian Zenogre or something like that. You go to jump and he just pats you out of there right there and you fall to the ground. Your attack is completely useless. Uh, say you go to jump uh, and he roars. Oh, you're on the ground again. Or say you know the Rathian is landing. And, oh, wind buffet. Now you're on the ground again. So all of your power by these things is nullified if you cannot get close to the monster, get your bus, or get into the air and do your damage to it. Now, the bug does do a little damage, but it's really not enough to be... A reliant source of damage. So you want your buffs, that's what your bug's for. You know, you want to be able to send your bug out to, you know, give you your special dust, which we're gonna hit right now. I'm gonna jump up there and smack the shit out of it. See, we did a bunch of damage, we healed on the way down. Great combination having a heal dust bug. A good glaive when you're solo hunting. Uh, that way you don't have to go through pots. You don't have to stand there and go, Oh, oh i got to drink my potion and walk around, drink my potion. Oh, walk around, drink my potion. Get hit, drink another potion because I just got hit. Oh, got hit again. Drink another fucking potion. Nope, you just go, Okay, I'm tired of your shit. Here, have a bug. Okay, now we're going to smack you and heal. And healing is instant. Actually, I don't think I hit that one, but when you do hit it, healing is instant. Yeah, it's inside the barrel. I can't hit it. All right. So, great for soloing. Uh, great for teams if you have another player that needs to run up and smack it because they're low life. Other players can hit your bug clouds and heal or set off the, you know, set off the uh, effect. So now we're going to change, last but not least, to a bug that does something other than heal, just so I can kind of show you the difference in what they do. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a powerful bug. We'll just do it uh, for effect here. Um, 
I know I got some blue ones. Let's see. Uh, oh, purple ones. Okay, so um, dust effect is blast. No, you saw that one. Okay, so dust effect blast. And fuck, I have a lot of blast bugs. All right, so anyway, um, we'll do blast. Anyway, we'll do, we'll do it. All right, so we want to get it somewhere we can hit. There we go. Go up and hit it. Boom! Extra damage. And you can side. You can set up as many of these as you want. Yep. And it will keep attacking that spot and keep generating these little blast clouds as long as you don't call it back. Now it will eventually come back on its own as you saw right there. But it's after like five freaking attacks. So if you want to just sit there and go, okay, we're going to put a cloud there and we're going to put a cloud there and we're going to put a cloud there. Go put that cloud there. Thank you. No, okay, I guess he only does two. But anyway, you can put like two or three clouds between uh, between bug launches, and you can just blow them up. It's really cool. And the higher you craft your bug glaze, obviously, I mean, take a look at this thing. That is sweet. They look really awesome. And so do your bugs. Uh, so that is the uh, bugs in a nutshell. It does not have an ultimate attack. And the reason for that is because it is so versatile. Um, it can do upwards of 120 per swipe. And when you've upgraded it, it starts out fairly strong. Uh, you can use it to up and GTFO if you need to. Um, it's a great weapon. It's... Not hard to learn, but it is somewhat difficult to master. You know, so if you want to be really good with it, you, know, you got to work on your aiming. You know, you got to know what parts of the body to send the bug after. I think I'm still hitting the wheel there. Let's try up a little higher. There we go. You know, and you gotta you got to be able to measure distance you and the mob that way you're not wasting your attack but all in all not a bad weapon versatile strong a little bit complex but solid starter weapon um, practice practice even if you you know even if you feel like coming to the training area is a waste because you could be out hunting uh, it's not it's not a waste at all and the cool thing is you can actually get all three combos in once you're buffed let me see if I can do it here nope okay no no come back to me bug I'm gonna try and do it one more time Okay, it's not going to let me do it, it's being really picky. Um, but if you can get yourself to bounce up twice, so you get the B attack. You know, you get the... That one. And then you get that one. And if you can hit on the last one, and bounce yourself up one more time, you can get the thrust as well. It's kind of difficult to do, um, but it's doable. So there you are, the Insect Glaive and the Kinsect Buddy. Uh, I hope you got some knowledge out of this video. I hope it explained a few things that were otherwise a mystery to you. Some of it's still a mystery to me, but hey, that's cool. We're always learning. Yeah. So, go forth. Beat things to death with your bug stick. Have fun. Practice with it. And kill monsters. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And I will see you in another video.